So in this video, I'm going to talk about what the acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes is. And so what this means is acid catalyzed means that you need an acid to start the reaction. And then a hydration of alkenes essentially just means adding a water onto an alkene. But you're not going to make it an H2O. You're actually going to split it up into an OH and an H. So for this reaction, your nucleophile is now water. And so normally you don't think of water as a nucleophile, but it can act as a nucleophile. And so here, what I've drawn is the overall reaction. So you start with an alkene, and then you have a hydrogen, which comes from a strong acid, such as H2SO4, for example. And then so this H plus is just catalyzing the reaction. And the real nucleophile is the water. So then your final product is going to become an alcohol. So now let's look at the exact mechanism for it. And so now this is the mechanism. So essentially you're going to start with the alkene. The alkene is going to act as a nucleophile and attack a hydrogen from an acid. So in this situation, we have H3O. So this is going to attack that hydrogen, and then it's going to make a carbocation. So remember, it makes the tertiary carbocation because it's more stable. So then the next step, you have water acting as a nucleophile. So water is going to come in and attach to that tertiary carbocation. As a result, the next step, you're going to see the water essentially has a positive charge on it, and so we want to remove that. So then another water molecule, because you have in the solution, you have a lot of water molecules. Another water molecule is going to come off, come in and take that hydrogen off, and the electrons get pushed back onto that oxygen to make a neutral molecule. And so then your end result is going to be an alcohol and an H3O plus, there should be a plus there. And so as you can see, the arrows that I've drawn are equilibrium arrows. And so if you wanted to speed up the reaction, you could add more H2O to drive the reaction to the right. And so from left to right, it should actually be this one's all the way left, it goes here and then down. I just didn't have enough room to fit it. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.